Stunning. Hi everyone, I'm just waiting for, oh Alison you're there, just wait for uh, some people to start coming in and saying hi, I can see Alison's bubble, I'll just get my video started on here as well, so that I can bubble. see, just get my, hmm, there's too much noise there, alright, um, hi Debs, um, alright, let's, I've got my card that we're going to do, and it's super cute, just a real simple one, but uh, quite effective with the two-tone. Um, hi, Andrea. Hi, Alison. And hi, Debs. Hope everyone's had a good day. Um, it's, been a, it's been a weird day today. I just don't feel there. No? Yeah, I suppose we all have those days. I'm hanging out for Friday that I can't wait. So this is our card that we're going to do tonight. Um, I I found it on Pinterest. I don't know what it's called. I've used it. I've called it an angled um, angled front fold card. Front fold. So I've got some of the Penguin DSP there, and then I've used the Whimsical Trees, which is probably back to front. Um, Thing. So I'm going to need, um, I'm going to flip you around, I don't know, oh thanks Andrea, <laughs> um, it needs a bit of a colour but thank you, it, it had a bit of a wash and uh, straightening and stuff tonight, so, or today, uh, makes you feel better when your hair feels better. Hey Heidi, uh, nice to see everybody, alright so I'm going to pop you down, I'm going to, it's like about 30 seconds, well not even that much, a few seconds delay on my computer um, and so I'm just going to make sure that what you see is clear. Um, I don't know, I can't remember if I had this ring thing. Hi Millie, yay, you made it! Um, if I had this same tripod -y thing that I'm using now for Wednesday's one or, <clears throat> or whether it came after that. So um, I used it for an online class that I had with um, some people the other night and it worked a bit better. It's reverse, yeah. It's because I'm on that selfie mode. So it didn't really like it when I was doing it the other way around. So I'm not sure if um, how that's going to work for you. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, let me know if it's really awkward. Um, and I will try and flip my phone around and see if that makes a difference. Um, actually, should I try that now? I don't want to make anyone feel sick. All right, we'll give this a go first. I will um, lower you down and excuse the facials. Um, put you up a bit higher. Hi, Judy. Whoopsie. Hinge is not happy. The phone is a bit heavy. So... I'll just get that in the right place. No, not in the right place. Why is that not? Gosh, it was working so fine, so well the other night. And now it's not. I really can't imagine that. Uh, what is going on? I can't even tighten it anymore and it's now just so far. All right, let me see how that goes. Eh. Upside down. All right, let me just work everything out and we'll go that way. I'll work upside down and you guys can see it the right way around. How's that? All right, hi. Hi. Yeah, the day's not been too bad. It's been wet and rainy and cold here. We actually don't usually, after daylight savings is kind of our uh, time that we decide that we leave our drapes open and enjoy the sun and light as much as possible. But tonight, today's been a bit cold, so we've actually um, turned, closed all our drapes. Um, so it feels kind of cosy, which is nice. But I know, I know Auckland is not um, as cold as other parts of the country but for us it's cold all right so what we're going to do is um 
I will just pop that out of the way. I'm going to start with our base. Now, sorry about getting the um, all the measurements and materials up um, late. As I said, it's been a bit of a day. And we've had um, lots of meetings and stuff. I just need to move this over. I can see that that's not in the camera view. So we're just going to... Here we go. We're just going to... Um, fold our card base in half so this is just a4 cut in half and then we we'll just fold it i know some people like to score it um but and then fold it and that's entirely up to you um if you'd like to do that and then what you're going to do is you're going to get put your fold into the middle and the top piece of your card you're going to fold right over so back on itself so you get kind of like a W thing happening, V, V in a upside down V, so you get that. So this is the front of your card. So then you just want to make sure that your score lines are nice and burnished. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut from the corner here, and we're going to go. We're going to make a mark. So sorry, I think I forgot to tell you to bring a pencil or a pen. So I'm just going to pop this down and you need to come up two inches, which is my the cardstock that mine is, um, oh crikey, sorry, yeah, five and three quarters, five and three quarters. So if you come up two inches, that's three and three quarters. So right on the edge, you're just going to pop a pencil mark at three and three quarters or thereabouts. Yep, five and three quarters. That's one, that's two. So you're just going to pop a pencil mark there. And then you're going to move. Now, it's a little bit hard to see on this blue paper in this light. Sorry. Um, let's see if I can change the light and see if that makes it any better. I have, oh, oh no, that hasn't made it any better. Mm, not really. The one that I had was the best one. All right, so I don't know if you can see this, but there's a little tiny pencil mark there. We're going to put that in the groove of our trimmer. And I just need to take my glasses off. So there. It's funny. I wear my glasses for distance and then need them, don't need them for close-up. And my auntie was the same. And my stepfather used to hassle her. Something shocking every time he came. He's like... Oh, must be that South Island thing he says makes you want to, um, oh, you know, everyone else puts their glasses on to see. So you're going to end up with your card looking like that. Okay, so you've got this was your point that you measured up two inches and then from that to the top corner. So you end up with it, a piece of card just like that. And we're just going to pop that to the side for a minute. Now, I said that you needed three other pieces of cardstock. Um, okay. Um, sorry about that. Uh, so two of them are exactly the same size. So you, one DSP and one plain white card is the same. You could actually have two pieces of DSP if you like because we're doing this bit here. So we've got the DSP on this side and then I've got the plain white cardstock which I've stamped on. On the front there so you could put DSP on both sides so you could have um, if you wanted to I thought that might get a little bit confusing if I said that in the materials and you didn't actually necessarily need it so you've got two pieces that are your DSP and your white card is four inches across by five and a quarter inches and then you have another piece which is going inside so inside your card here, like that. And that piece is five and a half long by three and seven eighths. So it's like two little marks just before the um, the four inches. So if you look here, i put that up here. See how it's got the um, eighth and then the, that's 17 no, 15 sixteenths, and then that's seven eighths. So just gives it a, a bit more of a, a smaller edge around um, your matting card. If you were doing centimetres, 
the average is about um hi Glennis. um the average is about half a centimeter that you'd go in if you're using centimeter measurements all right so um what we're going to do is we're going to use the two pieces that are the same size so we're just going to pop our matte piece away at the moment and then we are going to um you could cut these the same if you wanted to but um then you've just got to be careful with your DSP to get the pattern that you want on it. Um, all right, so we went up two inches on our base to get our flat piece, which is what we're going to cut now. But So this time we need to go up one and three quarter inches. So I've got five and a quarter. So if I go to four and a quarter is one, and then one, two, three, makes it three and a half. So I'm just going to put, my paper in, and I'm just going to put it three and a half. Now, um, do it both sides. So I actually just got my pencil and just kind of marked it on both sides. And then do the same with your DSP. So that's going to be marked at three and a half. And then get that and Oh, get on the other side. That way you kind of get it on the right edge and you don't have to fluff about. And, oh, you could have actually put it this way and gone one and three quarters. So, so we'll start off with the cardstock. You're going to do the same thing with your cardstock, with your DSP as what you're doing with your cardstock. So you're going to pop that in and you're going to put um, this pencil mark in the groove again and we're going to go up to the left-hand corner. So that's going to give us the pieces for the inside fold, all right? If you, um, because you're using normal cardstock, it doesn't matter. If you want to use it on the other side, it will flip over. It's your DSP that you need to worry about. Um, okay. So we are, can you see that? So we just make sure that our pencil mark and our air corner tip is in there. I don't know why, but I tend to like going back over, back. So I move my blade to the other side. So going sort of right to left rather than left to right. Okay, so this piece is four inches wide. So we need to cut it in half. So we're going to pop it in using your flat edge against the side of your trimmer or your guillotine. And you're going to pop it in and cut it, put it in at two inches on that two inch line. Make sure it's locked in and then pull it out now then what you need to do is because when you put this on it's actually the same size as your piece there well I mean it the width of it is the same so what we're going to do is we're going to pop that in and on each piece we're going to just trim off a quarter of an inch so I'm just going to bring this one down so that it's onto the quarter of an inch and then trim that off sorry Yell out if I'm not in the right in the screen. I've just noticed that I'm not. Hi, Rochelle. Nice to have you here. Um, all right. So that so I just took off this little tiny bit here. So we're going to pull that one out, and then we're going to do the same thing with this side. Uh, I will do it from this side, and I'm going to cut up to there. So the nice thing with this trimmer is it's got measurements up to about one and a half on both on the top end as well. Um, sorry about the dinging. Okay, so we're going to take those two bits. We don't need those bits, but when you bring your card in, you'll notice that it sits nice and centered in there. If you wanted a smaller border, you could do sort of that one and seven eighths. Oopsie, it's just a little bit off there. So you've got that in there okay so now your DSP is going to go on the outside of your card again if you want to use this piece on the front then you can you just need to flip it so you can pop your white piece on there and I will I might do that and I'll show you what it looks like um, so you can see you can compare so then with your DSP finding the um, the pencil mark that you want now what I discovered with the DSP is you want the piece that you want no let's if you want the DSP on this side 
you actually need to cut on the back of it. So you would cut from the, because you need to cut from the right to the left. So I flipped it over and went from right to left that way and that made it sit on this side. If I want it for the inside here, you're going to do the same thing left to right. I hope that makes sense and it's not confusing. So this one, my cardstock, I cut left to right and it, for the inside of the card. On the outside, I had the pattern face down and I cut from right to left so that when I flipped it over, it came out that way. If you want to keep doing left to right, you can, but just make sure. Hmm, that doesn't make sense. Okay. Um, just make sure that, um, you know, your paper is non-directional, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. Okay. So let me do that. I'm going to pop this. I want the stripes. So I'm going to pop that there, and I'm going to go opposite top corner to that pencil mark. And this will, I only did this a couple of hours ago and it's already kind of gone out of my head. But pencil mark and corner into the running track. Oh, something I noticed too, if and I'm sure it will be the same for most trimmers, um, is today I was doing some stuff and there was like paper dust in there. So I just got my little pick tool and just ran it through there. And there's nothing in there now, but I got quite a little collection of paper fluff so if you're um if you're noticing that it's not cutting very well then give that a go and see if that works all right so we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing and we're going to um cut this page this piece in half hi sandra <laughs> made that mistake many times i think i still make it which is terrible but um okay so let me just double check that that's what i want to do yeah. So I'm going to take off a quarter inch. So go up to um, the quarter inch there or one and three quarters here. I'm going to just trim that. And then the same with this one, the other side. Uh, okay. And then I think that's pretty much us for the trimmer so we've got our card bases and we've got our stamping bits and our blank bits so that's current like the current card that's how that looks if we were to do and I have done it the wrong way yeah I'm gonna have to put mine on the front sorry oh, it might look all right if you're going the wrong way but that's okay no I'm gonna stick with this because I cut trees out and it will look a bit odd so I obviously cut mine the wrong way Okay, so I'm going to glue that down onto the front of your card. Like I say, um, you can, obviously not having a very good week, I messed up the other class on Monday night too, so, um, whoops, oh yeah, see that's what happens when you're having a rubbish day put your hand in everything that you don't need to put your hand on okay and then pop that into there and try and line it up so that your thing goes through there right before we stick these down if you'd like to stamp them this is when you would do that you don't want to stamp while um while it's glued i actually to save time um stamped and punched out or cut out some trees um when i was making my other card so i don't need to um you don't need to sit there and wait for me to do that or watch me doing that um so what i've done is on this one i've put the big actually next one yeah i've used um fresh freesia just jade and misty moonlight which are the colors that are in the um set I might use some green on this one, a bit more green. So this is Just Jade. I'm going to do the big tree in the Just Jade. And I'm just going to stamp that on here. And I might put, 
it gonna fit? Hmm, might fit like that. Let's go some fresh freezer. Or is that gonna annoy me? What's gonna happen if I do that and then look at it? Yeah, no. Always good to use that magic side of the card so that you uh, don't have to redo any cutting or anything. So I'm just going to leave that like that. What I what I might do, though, is um, instead of around um, the edges with a sponge, I'm just going to go around with a blending brush. It's a little bit softer than a sponge, and it just gives a bit of... Um, Color. And then I'm going to pop some. If you're using blending brushes or if you haven't used them before, they are great. Um, but just come off your page. Now I've gone quite deep into that, so I'm just going to go around and cover the whole thing just to kind of give a bit of um, something different. And then I'm going to use this misty moonlight one and I'm just going to come in and do the whole thing hmm, didn't have as much on there as I thought can't see me mm. let me know if you are uh, crafting along and if I messed up your measurements sorry about that um, or if I'm going too quick Uh, it was so nice to have um, Seven again today doing the the card from last week, um, the card from Sunday night. It was it was great to see um, all the different variations of it, um, and yeah. So it's I'm just I so appreciate all of you uh, giving everything a go. So now I'm just going to decorate the inside and sharing it. I love that it's sharing, and I love how many um, of you kind of comment and um, are so positive to each other it's awesome all right so this st um, stamp is out of the whimsical trees uh, which is a lovely set so i'm just going to pop i'm just going to decorate the inside but and then i might put a tree we haven't had much blue in this one so i'll put a bit of blue in there and i might actually just stamp off so that I've got a lighter one in the back. No. And then a darker one in front. And then I can do a lighter one again on the side. All right. So let that dry a bit um, and bring in, move my ink out of the way because put my hand in the blue. I'm going to put my hand in the ink. So then we're going to pop this all together. So I'm going to pop my my uh, other my center, small pieces in, gluing up. Remember, leaving an edge so that it doesn't. Um, my brain can't process the reverse thing this time for some reason. No worries, Alison. I will try and figure. It's weird because it only seems to happen on Facebook Live. So I'm going to have to um, have a play around with it and. Um, and figure out how I can get it so that it's facing the right way for everybody because it is annoying how it's reversed. So I just have to see, um, yeah, I'll just see. Unless you want me to try now. I can try now. I just don't want to make you dizzy if you're feeling like it's pretty um, yuck anyway. And that was my phone just message, someone messaging me. All right, do you know what? Let me see if. Mm, no, I don't. I'm going to have to play with the light, the ring thing and do it. We're nearly done. So hopefully um, when you're a bit fresh in the morning, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of zoomed out and we do lots. We've done lots of um, Google Meets today. There wasn't really much time to do anything that wasn't on the computer, so maybe that's why 
my brain's feeling the way that it is. And I was so late. All right, so that's our card so far. Obviously, if you send it, you could send it like that and give people a nice little surprise. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop this tree overhanging a bit. Um, find some, where did I put my dimensionals? Here we go. Um, yes, please, is that, you want me to give it a go, Alison? To see if I can turn it around? All right, let me see. Let me see. I'll just interrupt everybody. Sorry about that. And flip that. So you can that way. I need to undo that. Oh. Now you're no. No. Wrong way. I don't know if that is working actually. How's that? I just need to get that positioned in the right place. And that's not the right place. Now I'm backwards and I can't get it in the right place. Will you hang on? I move this over this way. How's that? Oh, no. How's that? Is that better? It's a bit blurry. It's a bit foggy, like I've got fingers in it or something. Um, for some reason, it just doesn't want to stay up there, though. Okay, let's leave it like that, and I'll do it one-handed, um, and I'll play around with it and see if I can get it set up so that that's how it comes out every time. All right, so basically I'm just going to, all that's left is to put some dimensionals, and now I know why, because the light's facing the other way, that's why it's, it seems really dark, and it's in my eyes. Okay, so we're going to turn these over, and this isn't really helpful to you because, because I want it hanging over the side a little bit, I um, want to only put it on the right-hand side of my tree because otherwise it will stick down to the rest of my card and then it won't open. So I don't want that to happen. Um, and because I've got um, the green one there already, I'm just going to pop that a little bit lower than my mat. So when I close it, you'll see it like that. And then it kind of is nice with those trees there. And then I have my purple one and my green one. And so I'm going to pop these. Ones on here and these on yep. Was better the way it was? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Because now it's upside down. That's right. I will figure it before next week. Um, and I'll turn this around this way so you can see. Alright. So I'm gonna pop my uh, fresh freesia one there and my green one there like that so that when I close the card it has that nice balance of color okay so I hope you um, give it a go as um, per the usual I will um, I will post a picture of both the cards on my page and pin it to the top. So um, thanks, Judy. Um, so that um, 
you can post your ones. I'd love to see them. Um, and then on Wednesday night, we can do another draw uh, for those people that um, posted their card on the page. It's, it is, thank you, Alison. It is a beautiful card. And it's so, actually, it's so easy. It's not actually as tricky as I thought it was going to be. Um, I say that, um, you know, even though I messed up the um the dsp what i haven't done which i've done on the first one is i've put some little sequins on just to kind of uh give a little bit of um thank you heather um and sandra um yeah just to give it a little bit of uh bling bling's always good makes us feel good doesn't it we're having a bit of bling on us um so i'm sure a card is uh, equally happy to have some bling so now i'm just gonna make you a little bit sick again and i'm gonna turn you around so that we can do the draw um and hopefully not be um whoopsie oh that looks like it's upside down. There we go. Um, sorry, now my screw thing is not working. There we go. There it is. That's a very unflattering uh, pose um, position. Okay, so sorry about all the technical issues. I thought I had it sorted. And Heather will tell you that on Monday night when I did it, it was great. I was getting really good at this maneuvering things and moving things around and getting them in the right direction. But obviously, in Facebook Messenger, the camera works differently to when it's on a Facebook Live. So um, that's annoying. But anyway, we will we will get there, ladies. Um, I do appreciate your perseverance and um, your understanding and um, and. Keep, the, you keep returning which is awesome which I so appreciate um, I also just put a post on my page if you don't have a demonstrator and uh, you would like to get some of the um, items from Celebration that finishes tomorrow so um, it would be I am happy to help you I can send you an online version of the catalogue if you would like to um, it is with purchases of $110 or more you can get well, for each $110 you spend, you can get an item for free. Oh, thanks, Andrea. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure you would do a great job as well. But it's amazing how um, how when you think you've got it sorted, um, something happens and it doesn't. Um, and, yeah, you know, level three, you can't go out and try these things in the shops. You have to buy them and just hope that they work. And, um, yeah. So it might be once we get back to level two, a visit to uh, somewhere that I can have a play around. <laughs> no computers hate you. <laughs> well, I feel like that at the moment. I feel like my our computers um, are not are not being our friend at the moment um, for many reasons. All right, so let me um, turn it around so we can have a look. Hopefully, I'm not too close and you don't get. Um, an eyeful of the winning wheel but like I said we got seven people um on tonight which is amazing thank you so much um and hopefully Millie I popped your um your prize in your bag and I went out to pick up dinner last night and thought oh I should have dropped it off but never mind sorry I haven't um but I will or you're welcome to yell out and I can pop it at the litter box if you feel like getting some fresh air um so I think I think I'm up to date with prizes. So if um, if I have missed you um, and get it and organising the prize, will you please do let me know so that I can um, sort that out for you and um, I will do it as quickly as I can. All right, so I'm going to flip you around. Okay, I'm going to flip you around and I'll just tilt you through a little bit. Um, all right, so... Seven lovely ladies uh, with amazing cards, and we will click to see who's our winner. Okay, that'd be good, Millie, if you're out and you want to pick it up. Oh, Heather, well done, Heather. 
just on the just on the line between you and Andrea. It's um it's amazing. That's awesome. Um, I will send you some pictures so you can choose and I can put it in with your other orders. Um, Heather. Actually, I think you've picked up all your orders, haven't you? So um I will get that out to you tonight so that you can have a have a look at um what you'd like to choose. All right. Um Thank you very much, ladies. Yay, Heather. Um, thank you very much, ladies. Um, yeah, I hope that you have a go at making the card. Um, if at some point things were really unclear because of the video being back to front or um, – sorry, I've just got – no, I don't want to do that. Um, video being unclear or being back to front or uh, something like that, then um, – let me know and I can talk you through it. Yes, she's been very lucky, Judy. You're right. She has been, um, which is great because she puts something in every week. So it's really awesome that she gets that um, she gets to have her name drawn out, which is awesome. Um, I really appreciate everyone um, putting their contributions in and I will um, continue to build up my stock of uh, prizes for everybody. Um, I do have. Um, a few more things to add to send you Heather so you can have a look for you can have a look at it um all right I'm going to let go it's the, uh, nearly 10 past eight thank you very much ladies for um popping in and persevering with the, the technical glitches and um I hope you enjoy the card and that you uh make one um thanks Millie um and I hope, I hope, 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 one of the things that I've set myself a challenge um, during this lockdown, which I will try and continue, is to send cards. Thanks, ladies. Have a good night. Um, I have um, got a massive stash. I don't know if you can see behind you this box. This box up here is A4 size, and it's full of cards. So I make all these cards and then they sit in a box and I go, oh, that's right, I've got cards. Um, so my challenge to you is not only to make them but to send them because the people that you send them to absolutely love them and um, I'm sure they will absolutely love them and are so appreciative. We love getting happy mail in the mail rather than just bills. So, um, yeah, send a card to someone. I'm sure they will love you for it. Um, it will brighten their day and that's that same message we don't know what anyone's going through each day um, a little tiny thing that like getting a card in the mail saying hi or you're doing great is um, is such a nice thing to receive so hopefully um, you are using the cards that you're making all right I'll see you later see ya bye